So you know me, I like twists and crazy <laughs> things. This is actually the only question that matters. Did you beat the tech YouTuber? If you answer this correctly, you win $500. Okay. Did you beat the tech YouTuber? Or did Austin Evans beat you? All right, we're back. And this time I decided to make a change. And Kedrick answered the call. I put it out on Twitter. He answered the call thinking maybe he knew what he was getting into, but now maybe not so much. Kedrick, thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. Appreciate you having me. Yeah. And I see that you're also a creator on YouTube. You do some tech stuff, which is awesome. That's great. Yes. Perfect for this particular contest. Maybe. Because much like the other game shows, it is trivia about general tech. Okay. Now, uh, I know you watched the other game show. What did you think about it? And uh, what, what are you expecting right now? Uh, hopefully, I, <laughs> I had some good answers for you. All right. I, I, I love the content. I love the idea. Well, I'm glad you like it. So the difference now is that it's not two YouTubers you will be picking to figure out who's right, as you might remember from the other show. It's actually you against a tech YouTuber. So it's can you beat uh -oh. a tech YouTuber? Are you ready to find out who it is? We're going to find out. I'm ready. I'm All right. Ready. He's actually one of my favorite creators. I actually became uh, friendly with him just a couple of months ago. So I'm super excited to have Austin Evans join us. So, so did oh, man. going against <laughs> Austin Evans. Wow. Um, <laughs> what do you think about that, Kedrick? I um, mean, I was literally just watching one of his videos last night. Oh, nice. he, was buying, he was buying cheap stuff from Walmart. So that's crazy. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, good luck, my friend, but I take no prisoners. Um, <laughs> we're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. <laughs> all right. So what it is, it's 10 questions about general tech, um, but not like all of it is, is current tech. It's just I went out of the box on this one. And there is a twist at the end, much like there was in the other ones, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. So... All Let's right. just get into it and see what happens. The first VCR was the size of a, A, a bread box, B, a refrigerator, C, a piano, or D, a car. Uh, the car sounds the most outrageous. So I'm going to go with that one, the car. What are you saying, Austin? Uh, so bread box seems too small since I think even towards the end, VCRs weren't quite that small. Uh, car seems a little bit big. Uh, I'm going to go with refrigerator. Okay. All right. Not going to tell you if you're right or not. Second okay. question. <laughs> We have a twist at the end. We're, it, it's going to get crazy. In 2010, over 1,700 PlayStation 3s were purchased to help create a supercomputer. Who bought them? Was it A, the United States Air Force, B, NASA, C, Amazon, or D, Tesla? Kedrick, what do you think? I'm going to go with B, NASA. And Austin, what do you say? Air Force. Next question. The Firefox logo isn't actually a fox. True or false? The Firefox logo isn't actually a fox. Kedrick, is that true or false? I have it in my head, but I never pay close attention to it. I'm going to say true. Austin, what do you say, my friend? I. Th That's a tough one. It is. I think Firefox, it is a fox. I'm going to say it is a fox. The first ever cell phone call was made in A, New York City, B, Tokyo, Japan, C, London, England, or D, Beijing, China. Uh, Kedrick, what do you think? I'm going to go to both London. Austin, what do you think? Not confident in this at all. Okay. I'm going to say Tokyo. On average, people read faster on a computer screen than from paper. True or false? I'm going to go from personal experience on this and say false. Ooh, spicy. What do I you think say, true. Austin? Uh, right. No reason for that whatsoever. Just it feels like it's a true statement to me. I feel like okay. computers and phones and stuff you probably read faster on. Nintendo started out as a manufacturer of action figures. True or false? I feel like I saw this in a documentary, so I'm going to say true. And Austin, so, what are you going to say? I'm going to say that I think this is a technicality because I believe Nintendo first started with cards, but they did make action figures at some point in their early history. I'm going to say true, but I think this is going to be one of those tricky ones. So you're saying they did start out with action figures? I'm going to say they did, theater. although I think they actually did trading cards before they did anything else. But they did do toys in the very beginning, so I'll, I'll say this is true. All right, that's fair. Only got a couple questions left, so I'm not going to tell you the score until the end. But uh, you guys are pretty close. Let's just put, leave it at that. All right. Okay. As of 2017... How many people in the USA still used dial-up internet? As oh. of 2017, how many people still use dial-up internet? A, 1.3 million. B, 2.1 million. C, 550,000. Or D, 3.2 million people. Kedrick, what do you think? So I know there's a lot of rural areas that don't have access to high-speed internet, so I'm going to go with the 3 million. Okay. And... 
What do you think, Austin? Uh, it's hard because I can definitely imagine a bunch of old grandmas who never canceled their AOL and they're just still <laughs> sitting there. But also, even if you live in a really rural area, you should at least have like DSL, which is a pretty big step up. I'm going to say 550000 just to be different, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised with any of these answers. What was Snapchat's original name? Was it A, Pick and Share, B, Pickaboo, C, Snap and Save, or D, Share Picks? Kedrick, what do you say? I feel like there was a really creative exec that thought Pickaboo was a good and a good idea. What do you say, Austin? I agree. I think Pickaboo or whatever it was. Yeah, that sounds like the closest because at least it's got the ghost in there. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that. The original design of the first iPhone was an Apple. True or false? The actual design for the very first iPhone was actually an Apple. <laughs> what? I know, right? I'm like, is this a real thing? It might have been, but it might not. Maybe I'm just creative as hell on these questions nowadays. I mean, I've done three of these shows now. Maybe I'm just trolly as hell. Kedrick, what do you say? True or false? That's so out there. I'm going to say it's true. Oh. Austin, what do you say? False. No way. Steve Jobs was like, we're going to make an Apple-shaped phone. <laughs> In digi digital sales, digital music sales surpassed physical music sales by what point? 2012, 2013, 2014, or 2015? I'm going to go with 2013. Austin, what do you say, my friend? I mean, if you would have asked me this question with no answers, I would have said like 2009, so I'm way off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're off. I'll say 2015. 2015. All right. That was 10 questions, and the score is 4 to 2. The question is, who got four and who got two? So you know me, I like twists and crazy <laughs> things. This is actually the only question that matters. Did you beat the tech YouTuber? If you answer this correctly, you win $500. If you don't, then you just got to be in a video with Austin Evans and me, which I just- Hey, I, I still won either way. Either way, won either so, way. Kedrick, okay. did you beat the tech YouTuber? Did you get four points and he get two? Or did Austin Evans beat you? I'm going to say Austin Evans beat me. So you are going to say that Austin beat you four to two. Yes, I'm going to say that. Okay. I'm going to stick with that. Here's what happened. You actually beat Austin. Oh! <laughs> oh, so, oh, wow. Unfortunately, no $500, but oh. you got to hang with me and Austin for 30 oh, minutes. Hey, that was cool enough for me. But, I appreciate it. Let's go back to the questions because I'm really curious of your, your guys' uh, response to this. Okay, so let's go back to number one. The, f the first VCR was the size of a piano. Yeah, and I'll put pictures up during the video. Uh, in 2010, 1,700 PS3s were purchased, and Austin was right, U.S. Air Force, to make a supercomputer. The Fox logo, the Firefox logo is not a Fox. That is true. Uh, the first ever cell phone call was made in New York City. Uh, on average, people read faster on a computer than, a, than paper. That's false. They actually read 10% slower. Uh, Nintendo started out making playing cards before they made uh, action Damn figures. It. So Austin was right. Ah. <laughs> As of 2017, 2.1 million people were still using dial-up. Snapchat's original name was Peekaboo. Uh, the original design of the first iPhone was an Apple when it closed. <laughs> I don't, wow. what? there's no image of this, but this is on uh, a, I, listen, I uh, have a hard time believing this, but I looked it up and apparently it's true. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is oh, what the man. internet tells me. And digital music sales surpassed physical sales by 2014. With that being said, Kendrick, did you at least have fun with myself? Uh, and I did, I did. I really appreciate you having me on. Well, listen, everyone, if you missed the other game shows, I have a link in the description below. I want you to check them out. And definitely check out Austin. And by the way, Kendrick has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link for his down in the description below as well. Just to him, not to us. He yeah, forget him. about us. What do we know? We, we do, we're, we're terrible. I mean, he beat Austin for God's sakes. Come on now. Go check out his channel. We'll see you next time. Peace and love.